Yo, what's up? It's Tyler here. And today let's talk about how to stream to multiple locations at the same time. So I made another video about how to do this, but some of you seem to still be a little bit confused. So I'm gonna clarify some things here, but if you haven't checked out their original video, there will be a card up top. You can click on that and actually check out. That might answer other questions that you have. Let's jump in. So first off, we're gonna need to go ahead and get the OBS plugin to be able to stream to multiple locations. And so the easiest way to get that is to go to this website right here. And all you have to do is Google search OBS multi rtmp and once you search up obs multi rtmp then you'll come to this website right here which is actually on a github page now all we're looking for is the plugin for the obs version that we actually have so we're using obs 28 which is the current version of obs so for right here for example we're going to go ahead and click on hmm, which one should we take the obs multi rtmp setup.exe or they even have it in a zip folder if we want the zip folder. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the EXE and just run it right off my computer. And it's now gonna walk us through the download setup process. I would leave the destination folder how it's set up and defaulted to, but if you do know where your plugins folder is by chance, you can go ahead and hit browse and find that specific plugins folder. But the only thing you want here is you want to make sure that this installs in your OBS plugins folder. If it's not letting you browse for some reason, go ahead and download that zip folder and then find that .dll file that's nested in those folders and go ahead and just copy that over to your plugins folder on OBS. Now, just keep in mind, this is a whopping 403 kilobits, a tiny little block on Minecraft probably takes up more space than this. So go ahead and hit install. And holy cow, that was quick. The other way to do this would be to just download the zip folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and just download. I wanna make sure this the OBS-multi-RTMP portable uh, zip. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And then I'll go ahead and extract this zip folder and then pull out what I need here. Really all I'm looking for in the whole plugin is just a .dll file. And I'm gonna go ahead and move that into my plugins folder where my OBS is installed. Now for the example of this video, I'm using OBS Portable. Don't worry, it's nothing too crazy. Um, we will get to that in another video. So if you haven't subscribed, now's a great time to subscribe. But Portable just means its own setup, its own version of OBS because I'm recording on OBS and I'm also showing you how this works in OBS. I'm running on portable. So for portable, we're just gonna simply drag it over to the folder that we know where it is. And we'll paste it in right there. And bada boom, bada bing, we should be good. Now it is important that you close out of OBS and then reopen OBS to see if it actually worked. So let's go ahead and close out of OBS. And then let's go ahead and reopen OBS. And once this pops up, we may have Oh my goodness, would you look at this? It works just perfectly. Right up here, you can see this button.new target. Obviously, that's a little typo that should have been named to new target. Um, but basically, this is a target. This is where we're going to be streaming to one location. And I'll show you exactly how this works in just a moment. But if you guys do not see this window up here, don't worry. The plugin might actually be working. It may just be hidden. So all you have to do is go to docs and then look under this list right here. You can go ahead and look for something that would be called like OBS multi RTMP. For this, I saw that the title of it was just title here. You can see up here, it's called title. So if I open that, what you're looking for is a window here that has a button right here. This one, it says button.newtarget and has maybe a donate link here, or it says it's by Sora Yukui right there. Um, just something like that. And then you can actually open the window here. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here on the side. I like that right there. Um, but what we're gonna do is go ahead and add some targets here. So let's say, for example, you wanna stream to YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok all at the same time. This plugin is gonna allow you to do that with any without any other kind of software or any kind of payment or anything like that. It's all free and it's all included in this free plugin. So again, thank you so much to the developer Sora Yukui for developing this plugin. But we need to have one main source that, or one main target that we're actually gonna stream to. And then we can set up however many other targets that we want to stream to as well. For example, we're gonna say the main target is Twitch. It doesn't really matter which one is your main target. There's nothing really different about it except where you set it up. So what we're gonna do is go over to settings down here at the bottom right hand corner and we're going to go over to stream we're going to go ahead and select the service here now obviously if you don't if your service is not listed here you'll go ahead and hit custom right here and it'll give you an option for a server url and a server key um what we're going to or a stream key excuse me what we're going to do is go ahead and hit twitch 
auto. We've got our account connected already, so we're good to go. We'll hit OK right here, unless you wanna go ahead and adjust any other settings. I do recommend you adjust, if this is your first time ever streaming to this target, I do recommend adjusting the video bitrate. And the video bitrate is basically just how much data is being transferred per second of stream. So you can actually have maybe like a 10, uh, like a 1920 by 1080 frame, right? So like one second of gameplay at 1080 HD. But if your bit rate is say down to like a thousand, it might be kind of blurry and hard to see and kind of pixelated. But if your bit rate is something like 6,000, it'll be really clear and super like, you know, just crystal clear. Now you might be wondering why we don't just set the video bit rate to 6,000. Well, there's actually a good reason for that. And it has to do with how much upload speed you actually have. So stay tuned to the end of the video because there's a very, very important tip that you need to know about after the tutorial. And I explain exactly why you can't just max it at 6,000 for every single target. Also, this is a good time to tell you to hit the like button, please. So here we go, we, uh, we're gonna set this at 4,000, perfect. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, we're all set up on Twitch. We can go ahead and click the start streaming button and we'll instantly start streaming to Twitch. But we wanna set up two more targets here. What we're gonna do is go up here to button.newTarget um, and then we'll go ahead and we don't have to worry about the name here. If we wanna name it, we can. Let's go ahead and just name this one YouTube. Um, and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab a streaming server. Now, if you go into the back end of YouTube when you start set up your stream, you can get that streaming server URL and you'll also look for a streaming key that'll also be available. You can go ahead and grab that as well. You'll just paste both of those in here. So streaming server right here. This is not it. This is just for the example's sake, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put in youtube.com. That is not the streaming server URL, just so you know. And then a, a stream key, we'll just put one, two, three. Obviously Obviously, these are not real characters or, or real uh, values here. Um, now, some things that we need to know, do we want the video settings to be the same as OBS? That means whatever settings we set, so say we're streaming at 4,000 kilobits to Twitch, do we also wanna use that same 4,000 kilobits to YouTube? Or do we want to back it up a little bit and just do 3,000, maybe a little bit less to YouTube, or maybe we wanna do full the 6,000, like do a lot, really high quality to YouTube. You can go ahead and adjust that right here. Now, if we need to change this, all we're gonna do is go ahead and click on this encoder and then go ahead and select which encoder you want to go ahead and stream with. Um, usually you wanna use your graphics card to actually encode this. Um, I'm just gonna put this NVIDIA NVEC um, and H.264. Um, right here, we're gonna go ahead and set up a video resolution. We can leave it if we don't, if we just want it to default to 1080p, which is what we're streaming to Twitch on, we'll just go ahead and leave it. If we want the bit rate to be different, here's where we can actually adjust that. So let's say we only want, you know, 3000 uh, to, to, to YouTube, whereas we're streaming 4000 to Twitch, we can go ahead and adjust that. More likely than not, if you want your stream to be relatively like the same across all platforms, you'll just leave it as same as OBS. Um, over here, audio settings, again, you can adjust the, the bit rate of the audio settings. I would recommend you just leave it as the same here. Um, and then I think we are pretty much all good here. The other thing we can do is sync start. That's actually going to, when we click start here on the main OBS program, when we start streaming to Twitch, it will also auto start streaming to YouTube. Do we want that on or off? I'm personally gonna leave this off. I don't really want it. I kinda wanna control when I actually start streaming to YouTube. So here it is right over here on the left. You can see we have the start button, the edit button, and the delete button. If we wanna delete this, this target, we can go ahead and do that there. If we wanna start it, we can go ahead and do that there. And then if we need to edit it, we can go ahead and do that there. Now let's go ahead and set up one more target here uh, really quickly. We'll just put TikTok here. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and grab that streaming server. If you have a TikTok stream key, you can go ahead and grab all those details off TikTok's website. Go ahead and put that in there. And I do have other videos kind of talking more about this. Um, check out the card up, up above if you actually want more information on that. Um, and then we can go ahead and set up the same, again, the same thing, different encoder, different settings if we need it. If not, leave it there. Do we want it to auto start with Twitch when we start streaming here from the main OBS program? No, that's okay. Okay, we look good. 
good there. So we have YouTube right here, we have TikTok right here, and all we have to do is hit this start button and we will start streaming to YouTube, uh, this exact display right here. And we don't have to adjust anything else. We don't even have to be live on TikTok. We don't even have to be live on Twitch, except that sometimes it asks you right here, let me try this and see if this works here. Uh, yeah, so it needs to get the encoder right here. So it needs to get the details right here. So all we have to do is hit start streaming here and then immediately stop the stream just really quickly so it gets the, the uh, okay, there we go. So we started and stopped the stream. Now when we hit start, you can see it's now working over here and it has started the stream to YouTube. Obviously that, the information I put in there is not gonna be legit, so it's not going to really stream anything, but we have it now streaming over here. So that's all we are basically set up. Now I can hit the stop button and it will stop there for me. And then we are basically set up. If we wanna go ahead and start the Twitch stream, we can, we'll just hit the start streaming button over here. And then if we wanna go ahead and start or stop the YouTube stream, we do that right here. And the TikTok stream right over here. Again, all of our settings we've left as the same. So the exact same stream will be going out to different locations. Now I just need to mention two other things because it is important and you need to be looking out for this. There may be some services that don't allow you or it's against their terms of service for you to stream to multiple locations at the same time. Such as once you're a Twitch affiliate, technically you're not supposed to be streaming up to other platforms at the same time. A lot of Twitch affiliates do it, but I don't recommend it just because it does go against their terms of service. So just remember that that is one thing that you need to look out for. The other thing I need to mention is how this process is actually going to logistically work for you in your situation. It would be really helpful if you knew your upload speed. So to do that, you can simply just go to test my speed or Google that or search for anything like that. Google will actually have a test for you and you just hit test my speed and it will measure your upload speed. Your Upload speed is what we need to know. So let's say your upload speed comes back at maybe 25 megabits per second. That means that you have 25 megabits to work with. That means that when you're gaming online that your gaming is gonna need a little bit of that. That means when you're streaming, your streaming's gonna need some of that. That means when you're streaming to Twitch, you're gonna need some, YouTube some, and TikTok is also gonna need some. So you need to remember that. Now we can directly calculate that based on how much we're streaming here. So if we go to settings, we can go over to stream, oh sorry, output, and we see the video bit rate right here is 4,000 kilobits per second. Now that means four megabits per second is directly going to Twitch. 4,000 kilobits is equal to four megabits. Um, or very close to it. Four megabits is going directly to Twitch. So that means if you have 25, four of them are going to Twitch, you now only have 21 to work with. And then wait, if we actually stream over to YouTube and we use another four, that means that we're down from 21 down to 17. And if we use another four to stream to TikTok, that means we're down from 17 down to 13. That means we now only have 13 megabits to work with for our gaming, for anyone else in the home that's using the network and uploading things or anything like that, using kind of any kind of upload speed. You need to just keep that in mind so if you start lagging, if your streams are kind of buffering, if they're lagging, if they're choppy, if anything like that, you may need to either dial back. What you can do is go over to settings here. You can go to output. You can dial back your video bit rate a little bit. Don't go super low because it'll start. you'll start really losing quality here. But you could dial it back to maybe like 2,000. I wouldn't maybe go much lower than that. But I would go like 2,000 at the low end, 6,000 at the very high end because some of these platforms can't even handle anything over 6,000. Um, I would say somewhere in that range and then for each one of these. Now the exception to all of this is if you have fiber internet, your upload speed should be absolutely insane. My upload speed is somewhere around the seven to 800 megabits. I don't have to worry about this at all because I have fiber internet. So if you have fiber internet, again, if your upload speed is well over like 100 megabits, this should not even come into question. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If you haven't, be sure and hit that nice red look and subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Drop a like for me, do that favor for me, please. If this helped you, it really would help me and help this video get boosted in the YouTube algorithm. And guys, stick around, go check out some of my other videos. I have a ton of videos on streaming things. And if you have any questions, I'm really Really, really trying to help new streamers answer their questions so they can get started and get going and just really start streaming faster. So definitely drop a comment down below if you have any kind of comments or questions or anything like that. I can definitely help you guys. 
Thanks so much. Much love. See you guys soon.